That breaking news, a deadly shooting in Minnesota overnight involving a police officer sparking outrage across the country. And rallies are growing over that deadly shooting in Louisiana. Those rallies spreading from L.A. to Philadelphia. ABC's senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas has all the details for us. He's in Washington. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, Robin. Another fatal police shooting, a traffic stop turned deadly, caught on tape, igniting anger and concern about police use of force. A new video emerging this morning of another police shooting last night in Minnesota. We're waiting for a back. I will, sir. No worries. I will. Viewed more than one million times before being taken down on Facebook. The video shows a traffic stop turned deadly. 32-year-old Philando Castile, along with his girlfriend and her child, pulled over last night, the beginning of the incident not on tape. But Castile was shot, his arm bloodied. The woman in shock, but continuing to live stream the situation on Facebook. In the video, she says that Castile had a license to carry a firearm. She says she warned the officer that he would be reaching to his pocket to get his ID. The officer appears agitated. Told him to get his hand out. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. She says the officer fired, reportedly four times. Castile transported to the hospital later dies from his injuries. Outraged family members and residents heading to the local hospital to protest. As hundreds gather at the governor's mansion overnight demanding answers. No justice, no peace. This says protests in Baton Rouge continue overnight as a second video is released showing another angle of the deadly shooting of 37-year-old Alton Sterling. This new video showing one officer pinning Sterling to the ground, while another officer kneels on his arm outside of Baton Rouge convenience store. You can see one officer drawing his gun, and moments later, shots fired. An officer then removes something from Sterling's pocket, Sterling dying at the scene. Sterling's family wants answers. I want justice for Al. That's what I want. I want justice for him. The Justice Department and the FBI called in to investigate the Baton Rouge case, the same request likely coming for Minnesota. So many not willing to take the word of police anymore. And speaking of the case in Minnesota, the woman remained very calm. She referred to the officer as sir. But is it dangerous for people to record these events, even though it's very important information that we get, but is it, is it dangerous for them to record it as the event is happening? Every situation is different. People have to be careful not to do anything that would make police think that they're a threat. But Robin, that cat's out of the bag. These days, when people see anything, their reflex action is to pull out the cell phone and to start recording. Yes, we're seeing that more and more. All right, Pierre, thank and you. What they document just shocking. Yeah.